Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are continuing Morrowind. Uh, so, in the last video, we started doing jobs for the Balmora Thieves Guild, and uh, the last of which was to go collect some Dwemer, or Dwarven artifacts, from Razid, who is this gentleman here, who is in Fatleg's Drop-Off, uh, which is a building in the town of Hla Oed. That's one ugly outfit. You know, lay off. Um, so that's where we are now, and I'm going to attempt to do something that may or may not get me kicked out of the Thieves Guild. And that is to taunt our friend Razid, Razid into attacking us. Did you say something? Uh... Uh, you think so, do you? Perhaps you want to prove it. If you're looking for a fight, you're likely to find one. Don't you have better things to do? Uh, go away, I'm tired of listening to you. You are pathetic. Uh, I may have to... Yeah, I may have to ta uh, bribe him. Well, my speech craft went up. Bribe him back up to liking me just so I can piss him off again. Don't you have better things to do? Uh, I'm tired of listening to you. Go away. You are pathetic. Damn it. I think what you have to do is successfully taunt twice in a row. You know what? I'm pretty sure I can get all my money back after killing him anyway. So let me just make him really like me. Uh, what? Did I hear that correctly? What do you want? That does it. Here we go. Alright. So all I have to do is kill this guy. Alright, so, because I taunted him, it's not considered a crime. He decided to make the first attack. Okay, and I got all of my money back. A simple key, and then there's all of the stuff he was wearing, but none of it is medium armor, so I should be fine with that. Now, alright, so, when he's behind that pillar, I am successfully in sneak mode. Alright, so that key doesn't go to that, but it maybe goes to... yes. Alright, another hundred gold, and these are the items that Sugarlips Habasi wanted. The Dwemer Garb... uh, Ornate Goblet, Bowl, and Dwemer Tube. You know what? Just take all. Uh, and I should be... you know what? Gimme... Give Gimme give that money. He didn't have anything good on him. Check out... Ooh, 250 iron arrows. Um... That is way... Yeah. Morrowind is the game where... Uh, no shit, how do I... Uh, let me drop off 115. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Three, four, point five. Oh, I just took the arrows off my person. I didn't actually put them in the in a container or his body. Uh, more arrows, more arrows. All right, so he's not actually carrying the arrows on his body. He is just. Uh, he just has them in the room around him. Now, what I think I'm going to do is take the boat to Vivek and then the Silt Strider back to Balmora. Because that would be a lot faster than... Where the hell's the boat? My athletics went up. How close am I? I'm up 8 out of 10 now. Where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, 
it'll take a lot less time to spend a little money to get back to Balmora. And plus, it will take less time to find out whether or not Sugarlips Habasi is pissed off at me. Do you need something? For uh, killing that guy. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. All right. I wish to go to Vivek. 27 gold. What do you want? And there is the first inkling of the massive town of Vivek. Or city, I guess. Which, I believe those are supposed to be floating, but I'm not sure. They all kind of rest on the ground, so you can't get caught underneath them. And then the Silt Strider, I can take back to Balmora. And that way I'll have l wasted very little time in finding out if uh, killing Razid is going to piss off the guild. Uh, so travel to Balmora. Why walk when you can run? And now it's raining, so it's very loud. time is it? 6 p.m. So it took about 13 hours to, uh, assuming it's the same day. I didn't even notice what the date was at the time. It's 19 of last seed now. Arresting is illegal. All right. Uh, you if I can help, I will, but don't Welcome. take too much time. Warm day to you. All right. Where are the Dwemer artifacts Habasi asked you to get? Have you found them, Toad? You have Razid's Dwemer artifacts? Yes, here they are. Habasi looks. Yes, a Dwemer tube, a Dwemer bowl, and a Dwemer goblet. All here. You have done Habasi a favor, and Habasi does you a favor. Habasi gives you some tools. Uh, so the items were taken. I got two Master Lockpicks, two Journeyman's Probes, and a Journeyman's Armor's, Armorer's Hammer. Nice. Nice, and I got advancement too. Congratulations, Climbs and Hides. You are now the Wet Ear. The the ranks in the Thieves Guild are a little odd. Uh, Rollin Halalo died recently, but left a bottle of vintage brandy. Uh, the vintage brandy is in Halalo Manor. Bring this brandy to Habasi. All right. Uh, now also, there is someone down here. Ah, here we go. Its scent is unfamiliar. Shiranir. Uh, she... Yes, here we go. Uh, okay, journeyman's lockpick, one apprentice. I'm gonna buy all of them. She doesn't want to buy diamonds, that sucks. Uh, that should be fine, though. Ooh, also, I almost forgot. We have the mushrooms that Ajira wants. What is it, friend? All right, I'm listening. I see we share the same company. What can I do for you? Notice that this... Hello. I don't know if I can help you, but uh, I'll try. Notice that this guy is a lot happier or nicer to us now because his um, disposition towards us has gone up as we've successfully done quests for the guild. So now back to Ajira to uh, drop off those mushrooms for her. And then uh, Rollin or Hlalo Manor. My time is precious, so make it quick. And uh, Hlalo Manor is a place I used to visit quite often in the past. And I will explain why as soon as we get there. You have something to say to me? So what's this regarding? You want something? Hello, Azira. Has Climbs and Hides found the mushrooms Azira needs? Do you have the samples uh, of all those mushrooms? Yes, here they are. 
Yes, these are all good samples. Now Azira can write the report and be a journeyman of the Mage's Guild. Azira has made potions for you to take in return. Azira is no great alchemist yet, but Azira thinks you can use these. So I get four cheap restore health. Nice. Uh, do you have any more... Duties. Yes, Azira has more duties for climbs and hides. Azira made a bet with Galbadir. Azira made a bet with Galbadir that Azira would be a journeyman before Galbadir. Now Azira must study these mushrooms and write a report. Algira wants you to give Galbadir a fake soul gem. Azira has made a, f a fake soul gem. Take it and put it in Galbadir's desk upstairs. Galbadir should be coming downstairs to talk with Moraine Dren, so no one will see you do this thing. Alright, so I now have a fake soul gem. Uh, the way enchanting works in the Elder Scrolls games, uh, at least Morrowind and onward. Oh Jesus, she's already on the move. I gotta make this quick. Uh, I'll explain the uh, those things in just a minute. But before we do any of that, save the game because uh, we can now take every one of these off the table. Uh, and also, a limeware platter, which is worth quite a bit. And that soul gem. Now, fake soul gem. Alright. Shit, I'm over encumbered. Uh, what do I have that weighs... Oh, the platter. Oh, the fucking armorer's hammer. No wonder. Um. Alright, I'm gonna use this hammer all right that brings me down to 204 uh, what do I have alchemy wise that weighs quite a bit Quama eggs I've got 10 all right there we go anyway so uh, Enchantment. You need a soul gem and the uh, trapped soul of a creature. Basically a non-human. And you use that as power for the enchantment. So, now we have a bunch of really expensive soul gems that we can use to make our own enchantments later. Uh, including... I think the winged twilight might allow me to make a constant effect one. Uh, but we got them for free when normally we're supposed to buy them so off of her. So you wish to speak? Uh, has climbs and hides put the fake soul gem in Galbadir's desk? Yes. You have put the gem in the desk that as Ajira needs, Ajira thanks you. Alright. More duties. Ajira must now study local flowers. So this is basically the same thing as the mushroom quest, but with flowers now. Ajira must study flowers now. Azira needs samples of gold canet, stone flower petals, willow anther, and heather. These can all be found along the shores of Lake Amaya. Uh, to get to Lake Amaya, go southeast out of Balmora, past Foot Fort Moonmoth. Then follow the signs and take the road to Pelagiad. After you cross the Foyada Mamea, go towards Saran at the next crossroads. All the flowers Azira needs are near the path to Saran which runs along the north shore of Lake Amaya. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, is that on my map now? That might be the lake. I'm not sure. I know... Actually, it might be here. Because I know that you, when you walk from Sedanine to Balmora along the road, you pass by Pelagiad and, I believe, Fort Moonmoth. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on doing that one, though. Where can you take me? Caldera, Sadrith Mora, Vivek, and Aldrune. I don't need to go to any of those yet. But at least now I've finished a few quests. For uh, the Thieves and Mages Guild. Actually, oh yeah, I forgot about there's the, the manor. Alright, that's locked. Make it quick. Alright, so 
Um, back in the day, I used to spend a lot of time on the Game Facts or Game FAQs message board, and they used to mention that there is one place that is a safe container, will never go away, and, uh, is it up here? Yes, Hlalo Manor. Alright, save that game again. Uh, might as well go main save now because Sugarlips Habasi did not mind me killing. Nope, not rest. That was the wrong button. You know what? I am going to rest for just a, s a minute. See, because my fatigue was really low, and a low fatigue will make it more difficult to. Uh, do things like lockpicks. So down here, here is the guy that uh, Rallan Halalo, my journal has been updated. Now this guy is a container that has infinite space and will never go away. I believe there is a quest related to it, but until then, you know what? I'm gonna take his amulet and his ring because those are extremely expensive. But I'm also going to dump off all of my filled soul gems. Uh, because I can use them in the future. Um, do I want to drop off all of my uh, foods or alchemy stuff? I don't think so. And the platter I can... I'll drop off the platter for now, because I can uh, sell that off to Revere in town, but I don't know if his money has gone back up yet. I'm going to drop... How many do I want? I want five, so that would be eight. Right? Yes, math is where it's at. Uh, I want to keep those on me for now. Keep the bow. Drop the diamonds, because I don't want to eat those. I think I'm going to spend some time to eat all the other alchemy stuff on me. Um, I'm going to end up selling that scroll, because I don't really see myself using it. Keep the interventions. I don't need the directions anymore. Alright, so that should be good. Now, what does she need from me? Uh, Dwemer Artifacts, Vintage Brandy. There we go. So this is very expensive, and it's a really good effect, too. But Sugarlips Habasi wants it. I think I'm going to give it a shot. Um... I want to unlock the door down here. Alright, nice. My security went up, and the guard who's standing right there did not see me. But now, I can go back to that manor anytime I want, and uh, rifle through <laughs> the, uh, the dead body to find all of the items I want to keep. Yeah, this is a Sugarlips Habasi quest. So we now have the Vintage Brandy. I don't know what quest is next, actually. But if it's anything that takes me away from town, I'm going to... Uh, not do it yet, but instead go back to our buddy Caius up the street. Welcome, friend. Hello. Yeah. I don't know if I can help Why you. Why is but, my uh, friend I'll here? Try. I like how the Khajiit react. Like just everything about the Khajiit in this game, like how they talk and how they react when you walk near them, depending on their uh, their disposition, is very endearing to me. 
Uh, tell Habasi about the vintage brandy. Have you found what Rollin Hlalo left behind? Do you have the vintage brandy? Yes, here it is. Yes, this is fine brandy. Habasi gives you a fair price. A thousand drakes. So I get a thousand gold off of that one. Uh, Fort Pelagiad's jail holds a member of the guild, New Shoes Bragger. Habasi knows a way to free New Shoes. Mebistine, uh, Mebistine Entz in Pelagiad smuggles Dwemer items. Shadbrak Graberbug takes bribes from Mebistine. Fetch a mysterious Dwemer device from Mebistine's shop and take it to Shadback. Tell Shadback to let New Shoes go or you'll let everyone know that Shadback takes bribes. That's an interesting sounding quest. Um, and I think it's fairly near where we have to go next. Um, yeah. What am I doing for level? One more increase and I'll be able to hit level two. Um, but I think I am going to swing by. What is this about? I'm gonna... Well, here's a fine one. I think I'm actually going to swing by our uh, shirtless spy master friend. And uh, find out what kind of jobs he needs us to do next. Because I actually don't know how long it's been since we last talked to him. But it's probably been at least a day. Yes. Let me save my game, because I just haven't saved in a bit. Are you here to discuss your orders, Climbs and Hides? Or is there something else you want? Uh, yeah, tell me about the orders. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfat and Tabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the sixth house, sixth house secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor. But do it. Then get the information from M. Tabalus and report back to me. Alright. Uh, oh, continue. By the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. And I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. All right. Uh, Hasfat in Tabalus is the drill master of the Balmora Fighters Guild. He lives in Morrowind. He's lived in Morrowind all his life. Knows the natives and talks a lot with backcountry mercenaries, just like me. He thinks of himself a scholar, but he's particularly interested in Dwemer ruins and artifacts. All right. What do you about know about the Nerverine? Some Dunmer believe that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, will one day unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and reestablish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. They call this orphan and outcast the Nerevereen, and say the Nerevereen will be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer general and first counselor, Lord Indoril Nerevar. So now we're getting into the actual lore behind the main quest of uh, Morrowind. Uh, sixth House. An in a trusted informant says there are a secret cult associated with some strange events recently, and, more important, my informant thinks these recent disturbances are related in some way to the Nerverine prophecies. Uh, the prophecies, an illiterate Ashlander... The illiterate Ashlanders pass down their customs and history in the form of poetic verses. Among these, among the things they preserve in verse are the dreams of and prophetic visions of their wise women, in particular the verses that foretell the coming, coming of the Nerevarine. But I don't know much about it. That's why I'm sending you to find out. I need to stop talking to people for a while because I'm having trouble reading. Make it quick, Outlander. All right, so back across town to the Fighters Guild to uh, talk to the drill master of the Fighters Guild. Now, it may be raining and that may be loud, but at least there's no thunder and lightning. Because I seem to remember that being extremely loud in this game. But uh, for those of you who are into ASMR, then any time I'm walking around in the rain is probably giving you tingles. Where the hell? There we go. Excuse me, ma'am. All right, I'm listening. 
And I remember where this guy is. He is down in this room here. Nope. He is further downstairs. Here we go. I'm listening. Good day, Climbs and Hides. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information? Of course, there's a this for that involved. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. Well, what's the favor? There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkingthand. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Dwemer puzzle box. Bring me back the puzzle box and I'll tell you what you want to know. Uh, a little cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. It'll be made of a coppery metal with a circular design and symbols on one side and some lined marks on the other sides. That's all I want, that little cube. Well, where's Arkingthand? The old Dwemer ruins at Arkingthand are extensive on the surface and underground. Head south out of town past the Siltstrider port, then cross bridges east over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost for Molagmar. Turn right and head uphill on an old road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge over the Foyada Momea. Mamea. The entrance to Arkingthand is on the east side of the Foyada, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on the pipe nearby to open the doors. Uh, well, Foyada, in case you were wondering, means Fire River in the native Ashlander language. The deep, ash-dark ravines which run down from the Red Mountain volcano are called Foyada. The lava from Red, Red Mountain is very fluid and it runs almost like water, and during an eruption, fire rivers run down the mountain, clearing the ravines of vegetation. Because they have good footing, because they have good footing, are clear of brush, and run long distances, the natives use them like roads. Yeah, so, let me try and remember this. South out of town, uh, cross the bridge over the river, at the signpost, head north to Caldera, and then at right at Molagmar, and then up the hill. That is a hell of a lot of directions. Now, back in the day when playing on the original Xbox, the game would have to remember every... Jesus. Every change yes, you made to it. Which included open doors. So, uh... Wait, what do I have on me? Alright, that should be fine. How's my armor doing? It's a little damaged. Yeah, I'm going to take a quick moment to grab a hammer or two out of the uh, storage. Oh. Oh, no. Did I sell all the hammers to Meldor? I think I might have. Actually, he can repair for me. There we go. Uh, but if I have him repair for me, then... Give me two. If I have him repair for me... Whoa, no, not Max. I don't want to give him all the money I have. Or... Wait, what? Hold on. I want two hammers. Nice. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. On the way, I'm going to take a quick rest um, and repair my armor a little and probably eat all the alchemy shit that's on me, assuming none of it is needed for Ajira. You know, I know that this is just an animated, like, static thing, but I still don't like being that close to those spiky-ass pincers when I'm walking by. Alright, so across the river. And then there should be some signposts. I think this might be one of the flowers I need. No... Crush fiber, that doesn't sound right. 
but I'll grab it anyway. It is not very easy to see things in the uh, in the fog here. All right, Pelagia Balmora Caldera. Let me check that journal. Arking fan. South at the signpost, head north toward Caldera. And then on the right toward Molagmar. Uh, you can already see it. That thing up there is part of the ruins. Maybe. Yeah, what the hell's... Oh, no, this is Moon Fort Moonmoth. Okay. I believe I'll be in there eventually when working for uh, the the Imperial Legion. Oh, uh, it actually looks like I'm out of time for this video. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.